We have made it to Friday and that means we have survived the first week of hurricane season. Only 25 more weeks to go, but this season the cones you see on your forecast will be a bit different than the ones you've seen in the past. Lee Southwick is on your side explaining the differences and how the new cone should leave you better prepared for the storms. A new hurricane track forecast cone will be used this hurricane season. The purpose is to help people understand that the impacts happen well outside of the cones track. The cone is only used to show where the center of the storm could go. Now, as time marched on, uh, the cone continued to shrink right as the accuracy got better, which means the hazards spilled more and more outside of the cone. Here is a side by side comparison of the old cone versus the new one using Hurricane Ian as an example. There are two changes here. One, the cone has been smoothed out to show consistent shading, but perhaps more importantly, the tropical storm and hurricane watches and warnings extend inland. You can see how the interior of the peninsula including South Florida up through Orlando. They include the hurricane and tropical storm watches and warnings. This helps convey the wind hazard risk of the entire storm outside of the cone. This is just the first step for an evolving hazard messaging system from the National Hurricane Center. They hope people will start to focus more on other hazards such as storm surge and flooding rain, which can be the deadliest impacts. But if we threw all the hazards on here, you wouldn't be able to discern anything. It would just be really a mess. So we hope this experimentation starts a, a discussion on how do we begin to convey the totality of risk from a hurricane, which would include all hazards. They hope by conveying risks outside the cone, it will prompt people to pay attention to their other products like storm surge flooding and the arrival time of tropical storm force winds and the likelihood that they will receive them. The cone is an old product. I mean, it's over 20 years old. So how do we shift people off these legacy products and onto the newer products that do a much better job of conveying the risk? I'm meteorologist Lee Southwick. First Coast News on your side.